Hello children. How are you all? Fine. Welcome to Mount Zion Matriculation Higher Secondary School, Pudukote. Class 2. Subject English. Today we are going to learn uh, one new lesson. Before start the class, I am going to ask some question. Look at this picture. What season is this? Do you know? Yes, this is a winter season. Okay, how do you feel during winter season? You feel very cold. Yes, very good. Okay, what kinds of clothes do you wear in winter season? Yes, we wear woolen clothes. Yes, very good. Okay, what do you wear to keep your hands warm? Gloves and mittens. Very good. Okay, this is a mittens. Mittens looks like a gloves. But it has two holes only. One for thumb finger and another one for other four fingers. Okay. Can you guess what is today's topic? Yes. Chapter 6. The Mitten. Okay. Let's start the story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Nikki. What is that boy name? Nikki. One day, he asked his grandmother to make him a pair of mittens to keep his hands warm in the snow. His grandma said that she would make red mitten for him. But Nikki asked his grandmother, he wanted to have white mittens. But grandma said that if he drop a white mitten in the snow, he will never find it. If he drop a red mitten in the snow, he, th he will find them easily. Yes. But Nikki requested his grandma, he wanted white mittens for him. So, Nikki's grandmother made white mittens for him. Nikki put on the mittens and went outside to play in the snow. As he played, Nikki lost one of his mittens. After some time, a moon formed the mitten. Mole means a small mouse like animal that lives under the ground. Then a mole crawled inside the mitten and went to sleep. Then a rabbit came. The rabbit also crawled inside the mitten and went to sleep. Then a fox came there. Fox saw the mitten. Then the fox crawled inside the mitten and went to sleep. Soon other animals crawled inside the mitten to stay warm. First there came a hedgehog. Hedgehog means a small animal which has short needle like hair. This is a hedgehog. Then an owl, then a bear, and finally a mouse. The mouse turned around and tickled the bear's nose. Suddenly the bear sneezed. Ach! The animals all flew out of the mitten. The mitten went flying in the air and fell near the Nikki's house. 
Nikki saw his mitten. He was very glad to have it back. Then the bat landed in a cave and went to sleep. The fox landed in a hole at the bottom of a tree and went to sleep. Then the rabbit landed on some grass and went to sleep. At last, the mole landed in his burrow and went to sleep. And the mouse, the mouse is still looking for a home. He might try to get into yours because the mouse does not have a home. Now the mouse is in Nikki's house. Yes. Okay, this is a funny story. Do you like the story? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, from the story, we learn the moral. Sharing is a good habit and we should respect our elders. Okay, children. Thank you. We will meet in the next class.